Yes, yes, Auto Chief, new week, new car. Gonna pay attention. It's your man, Dio Fair Japan. But I tell you always, when you see me in the streets, call me QB. Alternatively, you can call me Auntie Comfort. So I respond to either. Today, I'm all smiley because my daughter, I hope you, that's my camera woman for the day and my video director as well. I have to give her that shout out, it's necessary. You know what I mean? But once we've got that out of the way, let me tell you why today I'm here. I'm here because and we need to know the up to date when it comes to vehicle import duty calculator use vehicle import duty calculator for that matter because i brought you the first video and it's doing very well i'm excited i'm very thankful to every each one of you who is watching from us canada all across europe you call me ask me questions regarding this import duty anytime i'm able to assist i'm super excited so there's been an update regarding the vehicle import duty calculator now gra has introduced an assessment date so you can limit the set in short up to three months one month one week and one day so that let's say in the year 2023 since the year began from january to now the the us the exchange rate has changed so when you restrict only you limit by one month you get the most accurate but let me not talk too much because i've done everything on the computer so let's go straight to the computer and i'll show you how to go about it how to check out the import duty of the vehicle you are trying to import so thank you once again don't forget my people if you are watching this i know you have some value yes subscribe after subscribing don't forget comment like and share thank you i appreciate it okay so once we are behind the computer the first thing we must do is search for icon so i c u m s ghana so just do a simple google search and just click enter and when you click enter this is what that what the results that you are likely to see so let's just go straight to the use vehicle duty calculator because that's what we are concerned with so straight away just click on the use vehicle duty calculator yes so it's loading slowly but yes we are here and when we are here i told you the other time the most important thing we must concern ourselves with let's not set by vin i've not had much success with that so i always set with make or model and so once we are here let's do something so i'm going to do a quick search with less let me do a 2019 toyota rav4 i'm going to do a search and then after that i'll show you the new feature why i had to do this video so let's just do the search and let's let's search with this icon have you seen this icon here just click on that icon this pop-up will come and i advise that you use a computer when you're doing the search mobile works but these pop-ups how they would display on your mobile might just make the whole process a little slow for you so now we are looking for toyota so first page is not there let's move to the okay second page we still don't see toyota so just click through the pages so now page four let's see Toyota, no. So just, this is how I like to do it. Okay, no, it's here. My bad. It's on page five. So page five, you see Toyota. Just click on Toyota here and it selects it. So now let's go and search also for the model. As I told you, we are looking for RAV4, Toyota RAV4. So let's just keep searching through the pages. It's very easy, not very complex. Just so we are looking for RAV4. There we have it. You've seen it, RAV4. The code is 00882. But don't just don't even bother with it. Just click on the RAV4. It selects. Okay. Now we said 2019. So let's type that one out. 2019. So we are done, we have the make, we have the model, and we have the year. Then we just go here to search. 
Oh. Okay, finally, it took some time, but we are here. So see the number of cards. Let's see how many pages. 50 pages, right? So this is where the new feature is very relevant. So now if we were to go through that, if we're searching for, let's say, because the, and here it's very important. The reason why the new feature and the new feature is here, assessment date. So this new feature is very important. That's the new added feature. So now GRA says you can check, just limit this whole search within the last three months. So there you see three months. So now I'm going to select. So you see, instead of going through 50 pages to know the number of Toyota rav falls that have been imported so that it guides your duty. It's important you pay attention. GRA has brought this feature because it wants to help importers. The exchange rate keeps changing. So if you search, well, let's say um, someone who cleared a 2019 RAV4 in 2021, the information you are going to get is not going to be the most accurate. However, if you search with the last three months, and then also, so let's, let me just repeat myself. So you can narrow the set by three months, one month, one week, and even one day. Very important feature. So let's just narrow all this uh, first, begin with three months. The last three months, people who have cleared Toyota RAV4 2019. So let's, so this is what we are going to do. See, the moment I click three months, see the feature from November 5th to February 5th. That's three month period. Now let's go to search. Right, so for you to understand what's happening here, see all of a sudden, we don't, we no longer have 50 pages. We only have three pages because the search has been narrowed. Now let's look at some of the dates. So here is important I, I take you through what's happening and why it's important that we narrow the search. So let's, let's um let's do this comparison i'm going to pick number seven watch number seven here number seven 2019 toyota rav4 it was imported and it was assessed on the 8th of december right and then payment was made on the same day and see the duty let's look at the first with the exchange rate the exchange rate as at that time was 13.01 so the person who brought this RAV4 and cleared in on the 8th of December paid 74,000. Now let's move up in in the in December when the rate dropped. So let's look for a similar US vehicle, right? So we are going to so we are comparing number 7 and number 3. Number 3, this is a limited. So which is a high spec than even the XLE. A person the, the day they got they got the assessment that was on the 28th of December and they paid two days later 30th watch the rate they got because at that time the city had gained some strength against the US dollar so instead of 13.01 the rate was 8.3 and see the big difference 59,000 so compare 59,000 to 74 and this is even for someone who is who has a car limited with an MSRP of 34000 When you see home delivery value, that's essentially the manufacturer's suggested retail price that customers get when the car comes in. So the person brought a high value car, limited, fully loaded, and they paid a lesser duty because they brought it in, cleared it in the last week of December when the rate was down. So it's very important that these changes, you pay attention to them. Now, let's even keep it more current. Let's come back to one month because the rates have the, the exchange rate has gone up again so okay here we are doing only one month so we are seeing 5th of january to 5th of february so let's see let's do that search so we get to know the most current rates very important very important because the rates keep changing so if you don't know this and I'm happy to say in the heat of the all these exchange rate fluctuations, I had the opportunity to advise a few clients and there was one client that 
he he had imported a jeep diesel i think a cherokee grand cherokee diesel and he confessed that when he followed some of the instructions i an advice i gave him he saved about sixty thousand ghana cities because he waited for the rate to come down a little before he made a payment so now let's do this is so we now we are in 2023 yes we've we've limited the set by one month so that's how come fifth of january to fifth of february now let's see the rates now as you can see since let's see let's begin with in january the rate was nine point something so let's pick also a uh, number 10 number 10 le that came in it was assessed on the 12th of january where the rate was 9.0 and the person paid 48,000 Ghana cities as the duty. Let's move into February, almost a month later. So in February, as you can see, the rate is going up now. So this one even came from UAE. So we are not using UAE. Let's look for a US. Okay, US, US February. Let's see US February. Okay, uh -huh. so let's compare with this. So this is 20, 19 but this is not a <laughs> this is a quite a loaded car this is xle all-wheel drive msrp 33,000 as compared to the this uh, uh, le with an msrp of 25,000. but let's check what is important is the rates so here is the rate by the time this person who imported the xle all-wheel drive got to ghana the rate was 10.8 so it had changed from 9 to 10.8 so check out the duty 85,000. So that's a lot of difference. So let's pay attention to these changes. And now, um, even that, so I've shown you how to check, limit the scope of the set up to three months, the last three months, or the last one month. Let's do the last one week. So the last one week, you see, from 30th of January to 5th of February. So we are doing the set so that we narrow the scope once again. Okay, so this, this gives us the most recent, the very recent, very recent, as recent as this week, as recent as this week. So these are the rates, pay attention. This is the current, the most current exchange rate, 10.8. So you see that um, similar, okay, let's see exactly. So here is the case because let me see the dates. These two cars, XLE all wheel drive, they had their assessment dates on the, 3rd of February and they made a payment the same day. So essentially they have the same duty. So this is a very important feature that Customs has added to their integrated customs management system. This app and this um, application which you can use to check on your duty and prepare for your, you know, the car that you're importing. And don't forget, this is only a guide because as I keep on repeating, I've not been very successful in using the VIN to do a search, but this gives you a guide. So if you have a car that you are importing, you can check and just have a range of the duty. But now that they've added this feature where you can limit the scope, so you can check the last cars that were cleared in the last three months. You can check cars that were cleared in the last one month and even the similar cars that were cleared in the last week so that you get an accurate estimation of the duty you'll be paying. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was very helpful. And as always, I say, if you found any of our videos, any tutorials very helpful, share, like, comment, but ultimately subscribe to the channel so you can help us grow. So until next week, I say, Medasi. Yes, yes, Auto Chief, new week, new car. I can't pay attention. In fact, gotta pay attention. I told you, Auto Chief, when it comes to these cars, we are serious. That's how come we are one of the most important locations in the world at the moment, as far as cars are concerned. This is the 2022 Paris Auto Show, and we are here. So we have to take you around. But before we do, for show you, see, see, see the background, understand what we are talking about, serious. <laughs>